Hey what's up, Serpentine here taking a look at the third person MOBA, Chronix, the first game developed by Magix, a Korean developer that has made its transition over to the western market. Chronix has two teams of unique characters going head to head on relatively small maps. Each character in the game has six abilities or moves that it can use and all of them work off an ability point system. Each ability uses a certain amount of these ability points with stronger abilities using more. Accumulating AP comes automatically over time at a pretty reasonable rate so as not to have you out of the fight for too long while also not letting you spam your abilities like crazy. All your abilities are shown on the on-screen HUD letting you know exactly when an ability is ready to use or when you're starting to run out of ability points. While they could have gone for the stock standard MOBA HUD with the abilities in the bar at the bottom of the screen, the middle of the screen HUD is actually quite useful and doesn't require you to take your eyes off the action to find what keys does what. Abilities can also have added effects to them while pressing shift at the same time. These added effects are the same for every character however and include things like abilities not using AP or every time an ability is used you gain a temporary shield. The actual fighting in the game does currently have some issues. While all the abilities are fun to use and look awesome, there is a massive problem with knockdowns and the inability to block. In a single move you can be knocked down to the ground and while on the ground you can still take damage until the game deems you invulnerable and you start to pick yourself back up. While you're picking yourself back up, the enemy can just wait and time their abilities to hit you just as you become vulnerable again and you get sent back into the loop of getting knocked down and getting back up again until you're dead. Something that could be fixed with some sort of blocking or countering system in the game. At the moment though, it basically comes down to who gets knocked down first, losers. Especially in the smaller 3v3 game modes. Each character in the game's lineup plays uniquely with medics, snipers, brawlers, assassins, tanks and more. The lineup currently consists of 14 playable characters, 7 of which are given to you free of charge. The rest of the characters can be unlocked with the in-game currency as soon as you reach that character's level threshold, with characters scattered around the level marks of 5 to 10. They all have pretty unique looks too so you can tell which character is which along with the standard larger character profile being a tanky character and the leaner characters being more of the glass cannon variety. Game modes currently available include a 3v3 brawl mode which is a best of 5 team deathmatch, a 5v5 survival mode where each team aims for a target score by either killing enemies or a finding SOD at a center objective on the map. And the last game mode, a 7v7 domination mode where each team is trying to capture and hold 4 points scattered around the map to get the most points to win. More modes are expected to be added soon. Other features of the game include a card system. Cards gained as an end of game reward and change how the character's ability works. For example, a card can increase an ability's cost while also increasing that ability's damage or adding a knockback effect to it. Tonics are available to purchase with the in-game currency and act as consumables that can heal you, buff you and even act as a ward to see invisible opponents with. There are also customization options although it is a little bare at the moment with only one or two weapons and accessories available to buy and even then the visual changes are very minimal. The more impressive customization options are also only purchasable with the premium currency. Kits are another feature to the game with basic kits and premium kits. Your end of game rewards are dependent on which kind of kit you are currently using, with premium kits obviously giving you better rewards. As for the free to play business model, Chronix is actually pretty lenient. Almost everything in the game can be purchased with the in game currency including cosmetics and surprisingly these items can only be bought with the in game currency. The only place that premium currency can be used is on boosters that include XP, chance of endgame rewards, premium kits and the occasional cosmetic item. Altogether, Chronix is a fun game when the two teams are fighting it out. However, when you come up against a team that knows how to combo knockdowns, it can get quite frustrating especially with no way to really counter it. All the characters are fairly unique and have their own role to play in a team. And this comes together more in the larger 5v5 and 7v7 matches 
rather than the 3v3 matches where damage dealers shine. Anyway, that's been my player preview for Chronix. The game will be officially releasing in the next couple of weeks. If you want to find out more about the game, check out the links below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.